get the dollar right from here, uh, you're going to get a lot of things right, again, in your front-running commodities. So the way that it works in that order, um, and I'm just going to, it's called a leading indicator. Imagine that. I've been doing this for 22 years, going on 22 years. It, uh, maybe it feels like 32 some days, but, you know, <clears throat> I don't do it the old wall way. We do it my way. Right? So again, what we do is we say, okay, number one, if I get the dollar right, it goes down. Two, I get the CRB, the commodities right, they go up. Then three, I front run the Fed and the policymakers on basically getting, you know, they're going to come out to you and say the CPI surprises to the upside after these things happen. Okay? And then, this is why we call it the GIP model. Okay? I made that up. Made it up. Growth inflation policy model. Because if I get growth and inflation right, the G and the I right, I'm front-running the policy move. You see, like, I, I, it's always been this way with me. I've always done it this way, but I'm just getting better at explaining it. So, like I've said over time, my biggest challenge is to be coaching what I do as a player. A lot of players aren't good coaches. Wayne Gretzky was a terrible coach. Like, I mean, god-awful. You know, I would tell him that. Um, and we know him. You know, we had our, our, our episode in an ownership of the Phoenix Coyotes. Just because you're a good player doesn't mean you can explain what you do, right? Some people think that they're good at explaining what they do have never actually played the game at a high level. That's even worse, right? Never managed money, ever. Like that, I mean, how could you possibly know what the hell's going on? Um, but Wall Street and Twitter and CNBC is just decked to the halls with these, these types. I was going to call them something else, but I would never do that. 